All right, we're back. Okay, we can get this nut off this stud here. See if it'll move. Appears that the uh, Loctite has done its job. Unscrews like it's supposed to. All right, so this is the rear front. This is our front head, this is our rear head. So, rear front. Okay, rock arm is still laid out one, two, three, four. So it's one, two, three, four. That's how they go together. Okay, unless they did them wrong. If I mixed them up, oh well, we're screwed. But this should be all straight. I'll try to keep them in order. Okay, so this is our number one. Just like before, we're going to use our Torco assembly lube to lubricate everything. Looks like blood. Thick blood. Number one. That's a good sign, it's the correct rocker arm. That means I'm 50% correct. There's only one chance of being wrong. Okay, that's there. A whack with your, right here between your hand. Try not to hit the stoves, they hurt your palm when you do that. Unless you want to hurt your hand. Good layer of everything in here. Good layer of lube. Dry parts are not good parts. The top of the rock arm matters, not as much on the bottom because pressure is all up. So make sure the top of the arm's got a good layer on it. The bottom, it's already lubed. But I smear it around just in case. Now, before you put your push rods up in there, make sure you put lube up inside the ball socket. I don't like doing it now because it might collect dirt in there. Same thing on your rocker tips. Don't hurt to put a little, little tip there before you do it. But I probably will stick something over there before this is done, just to make sure there's something there. Okay, these are the ones where you definitely want to make sure you got oil on them. Time for you two to get me for noise outside. Okay, we are now number three. Three is an intake. This is backwards now, so it goes the other way. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of noise out there. Hopefully I don't destroy my video. Oh well. Keep going here. Goes this direction. Rock arm's the right one again, so we must be correct. That's why you lay your parts out on the table the correct way every time. So you come back in a year from now and one will be touching anything and it'll be in the correct spot. Whichever one I heal the coil, obviously the blocks are going right on like they're supposed to, so the studs are straight. That's very important also. Someone made a comment about can you use old parts and with big cams in them and hot rod and all that. So, and 
my response is the same as everything else. It doesn't matter what year it is, if you put together right, it'll live. If you put together wrong, it won't. So, older motors have less horsepower than newer motors, so they don't have to tolerate as much abuse. But they do take the same percentage of, boot, of abuse on any year. So, there you go. So these heads are definitely made to go, get up and go now. So we got everything buttoned up. So the arms should be all good now. The tips have already been ground. We already know the valve train's good. Porting's been modified. So the heads have been surfaced. So they're ready to go. All the bolt holes have been fixed. Unless we pull some more studs out, but we'll see. One thing about these little thin nuts, it's hard to over torque them because they're so thin. They just strip out. So a max torque on these is 25 foot-pounds. So I'll keep it under 30. But these nuts don't pull these that much. You'll just start stripping around 23 to 25, they're done. I don't use those stupid oilers. There's enough oil blowing around here already. We don't need some stupid drip thing that doesn't do anything anyway. So I don't use them. More. We got the right number of studs. Remember, these are flex locks. So no lock, no no locks needed. No lock washers. No lock tight. The nut is the lock. All right. So I do a figure uh, a cross X pattern. So you can go one, two, cross three, or you can go one, two, cross four. However you want to do it, doesn't matter. Start inside, outside. As long as you cross between two and three, you're good to go. So as you like doing, uh, get it close first. Have to work on that. Yeah. Short notes. Okay, these ones work. We don't have that grinding noise anymore and it rotates all the way around freely without hitting anything. So that looks pretty good. If you want to check your torque, we can check that. Just head out of the way so you can rip it off the table when it slips off because it's going to slip off probably. So you can't get a good torque on these. They're torqued already. These little thin nuts are hard to do, so you can't get a, can't get a bite on them. Even though everything's brand new here, it's not much to pull on. Let's see, I did make a special socket for doing this. Forget on the aftermarket ones, you don't have to use it, but on the stock ones, you do. So it's a special shaved socket, half inch here. Probably this one right here. Yeah, it looks like the one. See how it's been cut down? Makes it work a little easier. See how this one has the cutaways in there? Lights went off. See it's all chamfered on the inside? See how this one I cut it all off? So it goes all the way down. Full engagement. Much better. I'm not having to fight so much now. That one's moving. That one's definitely moving. Tight. 
that still might be pulling. Watch tight. See, it studs a lot harder than it should be, so that might be pulling. My guess is that one pulled. This one here is pulling too. This one's done. That one tightened up. This one's not doing anything. Action torque, everything. Just strip. I'm not pulled in. No, that ain't tight. So these two here are both coming up. So it's time to heat a coil too. See how far these studs are up? Even though this one just tightened up, or this one does. I don't think it's good. See how these other ones are all lower? So even though this head was done, it ain't done. came up. If you're lucky the threads pulled but it didn't feel like a thread pulling to me. Nope. So this one the whole stud unscrewed. So we got to screw that into the head. And those two there I can see the threads out of that one. So this one you can see the thread coming out. This one here looks like the threads are still good. I don't know. We'll check it. All right. So we got issues with that one. So this motor just doesn't want to let me finish. All right. So I'm going to go with the other one that's giving me problems. Got rock arm there. This one feels good. A little grinding noise. Not too bad. Doesn't feel too grody, but you can hear it. Nice and free until you push against the side a little bit. This one, now these dowels all have clearance in them so things can move around a little bit. <clears throat> so sometimes you have to tap when, you, when your holes are real tight, you have to tap a little bit sometimes to free them up. Problem is, you don't know which way to go with them. Go this way. Free now. You know, make sure it goes a full circle without binding. Not binding. So that's good. Alright, let's see if these will torque. head's done. That head, I gotta do two helicoils. The one stud did pull down, but I'm just gonna helicoil it so I know for sure it's good. So I'm gonna do one and have to come back and do the one right next to it again. There's no fun in doing it that way. This one here is what it is. So this one's the one that pulled. Those threads look okay. The stud that came out, the studs look all right. Or the, thread, the threads look all right. So I'm just going to put red Loctite on that and put it back in the hole. The red Loctite will hold it. Oh, 
always put some inside the hole also. That way this takes care of the outside of the thread, that takes care of the inside. Real quick. Alright, let's see what we got here on that one. So you want one four fifty to one five. That's about four forty. That's about a flat and a half off. Two flats maybe max. And that's too high. One flat difference. That'll be good. <coughs> okay, so which ones are we doing? This one here was the bad one. So that one looks like it's got torque on it, but not sure. We'll see. I'm gonna pull it out, see what I think about it. To be safe, I probably should just go ahead and do it. So it was kind of soft, but then it torqued. But and I'll trust him when I do that. Well, let's see what I see. If it looks 100% good, I'll probably leave it. But definitely see log turn on it. Well, that's the one that had the helicon on already. So I think it was just pulling things up a little bit. Okay. That one's fine. Probably gotta get the helicon adjusted to be in a new position. That's why I caught torque after I started tightening it again. Okay. Flush top. Should be good right there. So you put push in wrenches, position the wrenches so you, when you just squeeze it, it gets tight. All you do is flip them 180 and go the other way and you loosen or tighten. I'm not chasing after everything by trying to pull it across the rim. I'm just squeezing my hand. Okay, that's about 470. It's all right for me. Okay, that one should be all right now. This one's definitely stripped. Still threads in there. It's just, it's just these up here are gone. These down here are still biting. So. All right, they're gone. So we got to heat cool this. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> 